Hi my friends, this new tutorial is the fourth for the absolute beginners. You will consider the number like part 004 for this model to respect the order of watching my tutorials until you reach part 100. Tutorials without a number like this are mostly of general interest not only for modeling. Go ahead and enjoy. Today we model this part with the name Morse 5 shaft. This is the definition of the all five Morse shafts. We create now the MT5 version with dimensions uh, aligned here. This is the drawing with dimensions taken from uh, that uh, table with the definition. Let's start. New standard millimeters IPT new sketch on the plane XY and now we draw lines for the cone close this is an axis we can use right click and we place dimensions this point is placed at a diameter of 36.547 the length of the axis is 155.5 we draw a line starting from the center line up vertical to this sloped lines this is construction the distance where this line is placed is 149.2 millimeters and the diameter at this level is 44.399 now we have a fully constrained sketch dimensions are uh, very precise because this kind of uh, tools are in contact with the internal cone such a tool has uh, very precise dimensions like this one and this one because it will come into close contact with a counterpiece that has an inner tape we continue by drawing another contour uh, this one we split this line because these two are construction this angle is 8.30 8.30 this is not uh, 8 degrees and uh, half <laughs> it is 8.30 because this is a decimal dimension this is 35.5 
19.5 and an angle of 45 degrees. and an angle of 45 more than this we place a fillet with a radius of 2 between these two lines fully constrained sketch and we apply revolve okay this is the first volume next feature is uh, this cut dimensions are here we use them in a new sketch based on this plane x y f7 home line horizontal Keep press the left button, go up, then horizontal and close. This line is vertical and more than this, it is coincident with this center point. We project the axis X. as a center line then we place a dimension here of 15.9 uh, this is not a diameter my friends this is a line placed symmetrical about the center line dimension here is radius 11 now we project this line it is also a construction line and i place a point on this last projection then I make coincident the point with the, this arc. Why this? Because I want to place a dimension here as in the drawing of uh, 30.5. This is not important but I place a dimension here to have a fully constrained sketch. For instance, four millimeters. Finish sketch, extrude, symmetrical with cut all the way through the part. Okay, we apply mirror of this cut about this plane. So we use the tool mirror, we select the extrusion we select this plane okay good there is a chamfer here of 3 at 45 we select this uh, edge and we apply 3 okay the last uh, feature is this cut 25 on 25 we use this plane for a new sketch f7 
we project this uh, face and we create only a rectangle 25 tab 25 coincident this midpoint over this midpoint finish sketch extrude symmetrical cut all the way okay now let's see what is the volume I properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the new value is identical with the original I cancel this modification and we go to the part we select steel alloy and this is the final object now if we compare this result with the other one we see a great <laughs> A difference which model is correct the drawing tells us which one you see this is vertical and this is horizontal this means that this is wrong not our result we always respect the drawing my friends so I go here and I make a simple modification I apply redefine redefine to be selected this plane and not this one yes now I changed the part the original part and now we have the same object and that object is in respect of the drawing now you might ask yourself the question how can this happen if the volume was the same on both models and one of them was wrong but doesn't change the volume at all isn't it 